This video is going to show you how to set up our telescope, and I'll make a follow-up video on how to align and use the telescope. <clears throat> First of all, uh, we do have this wagon, so hopefully you're going to be in a dark place, maybe in a field or something, so you can pull the wagon there. I'd actually recommend carrying the tripod separately so that it doesn't fall off, right? So let's start with the tripod. The tripod's fairly hefty. I'll bring it over here. And in order to set this up, we're going to pull the legs apart all the way, all the way, all the way. And it helps to perhaps have it on the ground for this. All right. So I'm going to lift it up just to show you what it helps to have it on the ground. This is our accessory tray. So you're going to want to have this lined up in between here like this. Good. And then this screw is going to screw closed. And it takes a little bit of work sometimes getting it on the threads. There it is, it just clicked in there. And just tighten it up, it doesn't maybe be super tight. You're probably gonna to wanna to extend the legs, once again, maybe when it's on the ground or you can hold onto it. So this just gets unscrewed over here. And then you wanna extend about, maybe not all the way, there's some stripes here, so you can help figure out about how long you wanna do it. I'm gonna do it about to this second line or so. And then we wanna do that with all three of the legs. Stretch this out about the second line. go. And same with this one. Just want to stretch that out maybe to about that second line. You can make it higher or lower as you see fit. And then the tripod goes on the ground. There is a bubble level on the top here. So you can see there's the bubble level. And of course you want to make sure that the level is level. You also want to make sure that the tripod is on nice stable ground. If you're on grass, maybe give it a little push in so it's uh, stable and it's not going to go from side to side. Definitely check out the level though, see if you need to raise or lower one of the legs at the level, just like that. So now we're going to take a look at what else is inside the wagon back there and show you the different pieces. So we have a piece that is the telescope mount, and we have the piece that is the telescope body itself. And then there's a few other things inside here that I'm just going to take out of the box for now. Here's a red flashlight, and this helps you so you don't lose your night vision. So we'll just set that aside, we'll look at that a little bit later. This one has a bunch of uh, pieces that we'll need for the telescope, and so uh, I might have it in a different box rather than just this box right here. And so it's got some other things. We'll take a look at these pieces in a minute. Um, this one is a lovely box that has a lot of different accessories in it, mostly just different eyepieces. So we'll set that one down as well. And then this is actually a phone holder. So you can put your phone and attach it to the telescope and you can use your phone to navigate without having to hold it into your hand. And then we have the body and the, and the mount of the telescope. Now they're sitting in the box vertically like this. They're not really supposed to be vertical. They're supposed to be up right like this. I think it's okay that they're in the wagon this way. Just pay attention when you're picking them up that the contents don't spill out. Really, really important. So I'll just set this box down. set this box down as well, and then we're going to take a look at first the telescope mount. So let's see, this box here has the telescope mount in it, we'll just take a look see here. So I've just opened the box, and there's the telescope mount inside there, and there's a hand controller as well. So if your phone controller doesn't work, then you can use that hand controller. So I'll set this back over here. And I want to show you how to put the telescope mount up on the tripod. The telescope mount does have a handle on it, so you can hold onto this handle, which is nice. You might want to put an extra hand on here as well. And then we're going to set the telescope mount right on top of the tripod, and then spin it around until it clicks, sort of clicks into place. There we go. Just click, just like that. And so once again, I'm setting it down, kind of in the center, and trying to line it up, and then it's going to click into place if I can get it to. There it is, click just like that. There's three screws on the bottom here that you'll have to screw in. So one here, and screwing it so it's tight, it doesn't need to be super tight. Oops, that one's having a little trouble to get screwed in. There we go. One over here, screw that one in. Like I said, so it's tight, it doesn't have to be super extra, extra tight. And then this one over here as well. So that makes it all stable. There's actually two ways that you can move this telescope mount around, or at least the telescope on it, and there are two different clutches. So I'll tip this over. You don't really, shouldn't probably do this. Um, you don't really need to do this. But one of them is down here, and then one of them is back here. 
So if I unscrew this with my hand, that allows the mount to rotate around like this and tighten it back up. And then this one over here, if I unscrew this here, this is where the telescope is going to be on, and this rotates it this way. So to prepare for the telescope being put on here, I want to try to get this piece right here relatively level and horizontal and tighten that up over there. Once again, these things should be firm, but not overly firm. I'm going to mount the telescope in this little slot right here. So I want to make sure that this is unscrewed a little bit just to get it ready. It's helpful to have two people to do this, but you can certainly do it with, with one. I don't want to forget this. This is our controller, and I'll show you more about that in a minute. Okay, so moving on to the telescope box. Let me open it, and I'll show you what's inside here. There are uh, instructions inside here, so that's always nice to have. It's good to actually even have this picture, so that's what we're going for, right? So if you ever get a little confused as to what goes where, you know, you just look at the end result, that's what we're trying to get to. And then the telescope tube itself is in this box. Let's see, put this up for you. So there's the telescope tube in the box, right? And um, so we just want to be gentle with it and um, obviously make sure that we're not going to drop it. And we're getting ready to put it into this slot right here. So if you pick it up, it's really not that heavy, actually. And here's the telescope body itself. On this side of the telescope body, we have, um, you can see it says, Next Star Evolution. This little piece right here is going to slide into this over here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to tighten it up. And I'll show you what it looks like when this thing rotates. That just slides in. Two people's better once this one's totally doable. Tighten this up. Nice and firm, but not overly tight. Good. So that's how it looks. And just so I can show you how it looks by rotating this around as well. So it's nice to just start it out as horizontal. Clearly the telescope is not going to be in this position unless you're looking at something on the horizon, right? So that's how it looks when it's mounted, just like that. Good. And then of course, when I get ready to start to aim to things in the sky, I can undo this knob here, and that can actually let me uh, move the telescope up and down. Sometimes it's helpful to get a little grip on it. When I undo this, it's going to start to rotate on its own, right? So then I can aim this up into the sky. As you'll see later, uh, once you align the telescope, you don't really have to worry about these knobs, and then the uh, telescope mount will just uh, find this, the um, objects for you. So I'm going to show you next how to um, do a couple quick things. First of all, there is a battery pack inside of here that needs to be charged. And in this box, in some kind of box, which might not look like this, you'll find an AC adapter. So you're going to want to, in advance, you're going to want to charge up the telescope right through here, through this spot right there. So you want to charge it up and uh, make sure that the battery is charged in advance. And then the on switch is actually down here. It's covered up a little bit. And then we just flip it on just like that. This light will turn on as well when it's on. And then this little Wi-Fi signal thing here is flashing. I'm not sure if you can see it flashing or not. And that's telling you it's looking for, uh, it actually, it's not looking for a Wi-Fi signal. This is its own Wi-Fi signal, and it's looking to connect with something. So we want to turn that off. There is a way to, and I just have it covered up by this uh, cover right here just to make sure we don't accidentally turn it on and run down the batteries um, when we're moving it around. There's some other ports in here that you can connect to as well. And then there's actually a USB output here. You can charge things from this USB output if your phone needs to be charged or something else. So that's that. There is a way to monitor the battery level from inside the app that'll tell you what the battery level is. So that's nice to know as well. So um, that's that. And then I'm going to rotate this around because I want to show you one next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on a star finder scope. So inside this box, you'll find this thing. And this lets us look for and uh, find things to uh, align the telescope to without actually having to look through the telescope, which is sort of tricky. So once again, I want to point out that if you're wondering how things go, you can always kind of look at the picture here and sort of see which way things are supposed to go on here. So this thing is going to go on this little bracket piece right here, and it's going to line up like that. And then there's actually a small screwdriver in here that you need to screw it on there and screw it on there, and there it is just like that. This thing has a little infrared light inside, or not a, an LED light inside of here, and it turns on over here. And let's see if we can get it there. Yeah. Right here, it clicks on, and when you look through here, and it's dark outside, there's a little light, and I can still see it right now. There's a little light, 
And that's what it's going to try to align the telescope with. And you can make some adjustments down here for how bright that little light is. And um, so there you go. Whoops, sorry. So that's going to be part of the alignment procedure, which I'll show you in another video. So I just want to make sure that this gets turned off when we're not using it. You really only use this once, assuming that your telescope is running uh, properly. You just need to align it. Uh, well, you'll need to use it a couple times, but you won't need to use it continuously while you're doing observing. So that's that. Um, other things that we're going to find inside here, this is our star diagonal. And so let me mix this up a little bit. And our star diagonal. This is where the uh, light is going to come out of the telescope tube. So we're not going to uh, look like this through the telescope. So that's not how it works. So we put on our star diagonal. And I'll show you what this looks like. So this comes out here. Here's the star diagonal, appropriately named, because it's diagonal, as you can see. And this mounts to the bottom of the telescope. So we're going to take off. We want to make sure we save these. One of the things about setting up a telescope is you're always finding little caps of things. You want to put them down in a place where you're going to remember where you put them. And sometimes they just end up in a pocket. And at the end of the night, when you're putting the telescope away, you've just got a bunch of little caps in your pocket. You've got to figure out where they go. So try to remember where they go. I'm going to put these star diagonal caps back in the star diagonal box, and that's going to help me out right there. So we can take off this uh, lens. Uh, it's not really a lens cap, but it's the cap for the base here. And we can slide this tube in right here, the star diagonal. And then we're going to tighten. There's a little thumb screw over here. We're going to tighten that thumb screw over here. Let's see. This didn't really go in. I think I have to loosen it a little. Yeah, I needed to loosen a little bit more. So we're going to tighten that thumb screw there, and we're going to tighten that thumb screw right there. So now we're set up to put some eyepieces inside of there. Also in this box, you'll find a 40 millimeter eyepiece and a 13 millimeter eyepiece. So starting with the 40 millimeter eyepiece, it's a little bit backwards. The bigger number means less magnification. So this eyepiece, once again, here's a little cap. You gotta figure out what to do with this. And here's another cap you gotta figure out what to do with it. And I've still got my telescope cap down here. So where does this one go? You know, maybe put it in the accessory tray, but try to keep track of them. And then the eyepiece goes in here, just like that. You screw that on. There's actually a little flap that you can pull up on the eyepiece there that sort of makes it viewable there. And then we're just looking in right here through the eyepiece, just like that. So this, you know, this isn't the best height for me to look through the telescope because I'm kind of hunched over, but it should work for other people. If I'm looking at something that's way high in the sky, where do I put these caps, right? That's the question. Set them down. If I'm looking at an object that's higher in the sky, then it's going to be a little trickier for me to sort of see where things are. I'm going to kind of be hunched over. So maybe I'd want the tripod a little bit higher. So that's that. All right. So we've got our eyepiece, we've got our diagonal, we've got the set, and of course we're going to need to do some alignment. That's going to be an important part of it as well. Um, inside this box, there are many different eyepieces as well as some filters. So generally, you, you know, you're going to probably get away with just this 40 millimeter eyepiece and maybe this 13 millimeter eyepiece as well, wherever that one went to. If you want something in between, then there's some in-betweens as well inside of here as well. So. Um, then uh, there's some filters, and if you want to play around with the filters, you're welcome to do that as well. There's some instructions inside of here that'll help you. Hopefully, you're going to be able to get to align this thing. Let's switch this up. Hopefully, you're going to get to align it and use it with your phone, an app on your phone, and I'll show you that in a, in a follow-up video. And if you can't get it to align with your phone, that's fine. You can always use the hand controller. And the hand controller can just plug right in wherever you want it to plug in over here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the telescope on so I can show you that the hand controller can actually control where the telescope is. So we're turning it on. It says, verifying packages, please wait. And now it's wanting me to begin some sort of alignment process. But we can actually move the telescope with the hand controller, which is great to do. So these are for smaller movements. And as you'll see in the alignment procedure, that's fine. So this can actually work as your um, star finder. Um, whether you want to use the app or whether you want to use the handheld controller is totally up to you. So that's going to plug in here. It's hard to figure out where this thing goes sometimes, right? So where does this thing go? Maybe just setting it down the accessory tray or setting it down here is just fine. And then the last thing is, if you are going to use your phone to control it, you can use this phone holder 
or something else, but it's nice to be able to not have your phone in your hand all the time. So this can grab onto the side or the tripod somewhere. So this can open up, grab onto the tripod somewhere, maybe grab onto the accessory tray down here, and then hopefully this is gonna be wide enough that you can mount your phone in here. And then you can just have your phone handy. I think there's a screw here that can tighten it a little bit. And you can have your phone handy down here, sort of out of the way of the telescope, and you'll be looking at things on your phone in order to um, tell the telescope where to go. So that's how to set up the telescope. And of course, to take it down, you're gonna sort of do everything in reverse, keeping track of as many of the caps as you can to get them in the right spot. Um, important things are the eyepieces and the, um, the lens caps as well. Oh, I should mention, hopefully this is obvious, but uh, you know, if you're not seeing anything through the telescope, it might be because there is a big lens cap on the front. So this one comes off by rotating it and then pulling it off. There you go. And then this rotates and goes back on as well. There's one other piece of equipment that I forgot to show you, so hang on a sec. Okay. If you are out at night and it gets cool rapidly and the telescope surface is still pretty warm, you can get condensation on the telescope, which is not going to hurt it, but it doesn't make for good viewing if there's uh, drips of water that are on your telescope or condensation. So this thing is called a dew guard right here. Yep. And it fits around the telescope. And there's a little slot there that I think is supposed to line up with this slot right there. So that slot lines up with that slot right there. And it just goes on like this. We'll just wrap it around like that and we put it on there. And this actually helps prevent condensation from forming on the telescope itself. If you do get condensation forming on there, um, what you can do is you can point the telescope down. So just like this, point the telescope down, wait for the condensation to go away, and then you can point the telescope back up in the air to look at whatever you wanna look at. Okay, so uh, hopefully that's helpful for you to set up the telescope. Next video will be about how to do the alignment of the telescope. Thank you.